I know you've got your latest intel from your sources on the attempts to bring down Trump, Hillary, Obama. Are they going to bring in a dark horse like Joe Biden uh, or Bloomberg? So Larry Nichols, uh, former top Clinton insider, thank you for coming on with us, buddy. You bet, Alex. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, I know you got a deal in your neck and you just got out of surgery in the hospital. We appreciate you coming on with us. Um, you want to address your health issues right up front or get to it later? Oh, yeah, it's just a mess. Let's don't worry with it. It's, uh, it's something I'll fight through because, Alex, this is the last chance we get to try to do anything to save this country. And to be quite honest, it's now or never. And as you saw in the Iowa caucus, uh, Cruz has taken several of the plays out of the playbook for the Clintons, Dirty Tricks, and... Uh, I'd like to tell you about something that's going on, if I may, which is a little bit out of the Clinton world, but I got some news about the Clinton world. Out of the Clinton world, you need to know, folks, the National Chambers of Commerce, a man named Donahue, they are pouring millions, millions into stopping Trump. They're in bed with Carl Rove and the boys. And that's where a lot of the funding, but Alex, here's the kicker. The RNC with Carl Rove, the establishment, they've gone around to Fox, to Mark Levin, to Limbaugh, to you name it. They've gone to all the Glenn Beck, all of these places, putting pressure on them to stop Trump, talk bad about him. And that's inside baseball. I want you to break it down. The good news is Limbaugh has pretty much said no to them. And boy, the word is they're going after him now. They're going after him. You well, know, I'm proud of Limbaugh because he's you bet. He, he's done some good, some bad. But here at the here at the end, I think he's choosing America. Well, I think even Russ Limbaugh understands there are times in this country, Alex, where you have to go beyond self. Now, it might be easier for Limbaugh with the millions he's got to be able to have integrity. I don't know, but thank God he has fought it and is fighting it to date. Now, Hillary, here's the news about that. Hillary has warned that if they indict her, she will release, release all, all the information she has on everyone in Washington. Even Republicans, Alex, are going to Obama. If they don't indict her, she will destroy Washington. I happen to know what she has. She released. She can release all of the secrets that are to never be told about Washington, D.C., and she is holding that over their heads. And if anybody wonders why there can be all of this evidence and yet no indictment, that's why. They also got to know she's very upset that she has a shadow candidacy in Joe Biden. Stay there. I'm going to come right back and give you the floor, Larry Nichols, on the inside scoop on the Clintons right now and where all this is going. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show, the very tip of the spear of telling the truth, folks. This is the real deal. This is the defense of the republic. You're seeing it. You're part of it. Larry Nichols is our guest. Huge news at DrudgeReport.com, and I'm going to copy his headline with a screenshot of Drudge, post it to InfoWars. And then post part of the article under it with our link to Jakari Jackson's report a year and a half ago with the emergency manager of McAllen, Texas, saying we've been ordered to ship the illegals in, load them on buses, and the Border Patrol pays to ship them into the U.S. This has been going on for two years. This is an examiner article. Border agent, we might as well abolish our immigration laws altogether. They're being told don't show up to court, don't do anything. Might as well abolish immigration laws. It's already been done by fiat, folks. That's why they're told, let the illegals in from all over the world landing at JFK. And it just keeps happening every day. And they go, oh, it's an accident. And it's not an accident. Folks, fine, let all the illegals in and drive down the wages and we implode. Here's the issue. Citizens still are going to be harassed and be groped. And it, it, see, it's a takeover, a criminal takeover and the sky's the limit and the republicans will do nothing and they say donald trump's disqualified for saying stop this we have no nation this is global government that's what's happening 
And thank God it's finally in other newspapers after us exposing it a year and a half ago. I don't want to be the only one exposing this. They asked a border agent about it on Fox News six months after. We hear reports that you helped ship them in. He goes, yes, it's secret. I can't tell you, but we're ordered to, quote, complete the smuggling process. In fact, I want to find that clip. Headline, border agent tells Fox we're ordered to complete smuggling process. I want to find that clip. Larry, you'll be with this till 45 after. I'm stealing time here from your ranting. It just shows how dire our straits are. Getting back to the Clinton strategies to continue all of this, but it just shows how blatant they just ignore whatever laws they want while throwing the IRS book at the Tea Party. You know, Alex, this is what I've tried to tell, and I know you and I both. Well, we told this 23 years ago about Bill Clinton. This is what they want. This is what they're doing. And when you think in terms, folk of e folks of illegals, you better think of a driver's license and you better think of voting. That's why I say to you all, this is our last election. Oh, there'll be other elections, but this is the last one if we don't win where we will be relevant. Now, back to Hillary, Alex, she's got the files on all of them. I'm talking about the raw FBI data, the stuff she can tell. She will bring them all down, and she has made it quite clear. You indict me, everyone goes. I hear all the time, what's this new FBI director, Toomey or whatever, and he's beyond reproach. He is da-da-da. Are you kidding me, folks? I don't care if he's a Republican. I don't care if he's the Pope. Do you really believe Obama would appoint someone to head up the FBI that he doesn't control? Surely you don't. Now, back to this race with Trump. Alex, I like to give two reasons. And normally, you know, normally I don't come on and endorse or not endorse any candidate. I don't do that. My job is stay with the Clintons and do what I vowed to do. But you see, with Trump, it's different. Trump is not a politician. That's a good point, number one. Now, he's bought several of them. He'll admit that. He's bought them. But he's not one. And then when I see the massive effort, in some cases, Alex, I think you're right, it's unprecedented what the party, the establishment is doing to bring him down. That's the greatest endorsement the man could have. But then Hillary getting out, it never happened. You know, Alex, if, for everybody that's listening and you, you know, you're getting fed up and you think, well, my gosh, how much more has got to come out on the email things until they indict Hillary? Let me tell you, folks, Hillary and her crew brought it out. They know the end of this game with the emails. If she gets prosecuted, her defense attorney is going to say, well, give us all of those documents and we're going to have to use them in our defense. And they're going to say, whoa, we can't give you those documents to use in your defense. And you said that was going to happen. Now they've declared them reclassified. You said that four months ago they do that. Yeah. They've done the so, exact thing. Yeah, so you're not going to be, so it's going to be no price. And Hillary knows that. So Biden and Elizabeth Ward, even though they're sitting in the bullpen to come on board, they've got problems with Hillary. Cruz, Rubio. Alex, here's what I say to Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio. You're not going to make it to the top, boys. You have my word, Ted Cruz, that I will make sure the world knows who you are, just who you are and what you are. And Alex, you know me. I don't say stuff like that idly. It's going to come out. Then you got Rubio. Now you have to watch the sleeper in this race. Stay there. I want to get back to Rubio, back to Cruz in a moment. And I want to hear from you months before what's going to be on the cover of the Inquirer. Because uh, you, you've done that again and again. It keeps coming out. So I want to hear how we defeat Hillary, how we beat Obama, and how we get a president in there that is not a globalist stooge. Stay with us, folks. It's key intel. Straight ahead. I'm Alex Jones with Infowars.com. But it's a new kind of war. They're destroying our economy. They're imploding our borders. They are bringing in dependents who can be a new political class. They are openly demonizing free speech. And they're trying to set us up, prepare for war with the military and the police. And my message to the military and police is this. That's why I gave a big donation to the Fallen Police Officers Program and also, you know, for the police officers program where they have kids that have cancer and stuff. Same reason I give money to Meals on Wheels and the rest of it and the Salvation Army. 
because I'm trying to do good here. I don't want to be enemies with the police, but let me tell you, the enemies have seized this country. You got the Border Patrol coming out saying it's all gone. We're told to let everybody go. There's no border. It's total treason. You understand, the, the, our government is captured by criminals. Americans have a right right now to physically fight back. That's not smart strategy at this point. But they're preparing down the road when we lose these battles to come after the patriots, and then it all kicks off because folks just can't go along with it. We're living in history right now. That's why I aired that Red Dawn intro. But it came from within, not from without, folks. It came from Goldman Sachs, who's come out today. I'm going to get to this after Larry leaves us. This is a very important article. Goldman Sachs says it may be forced to fundamentally question how capitalism is working. And it goes on to basically say Goldman Sachs says that it, do that it doesn't have efficacy, that it's not ethical. So Goldman Sachs comes in, set up after 1900, uses its money to fund the Bolshevik Revolution, uses its money to create crony capitalism, to take our tax money. That's Bloomberg reporting this. And now is set to destroy it, blaming it for what it's done when it runs the whole show. That's beautiful. And who's it run? Hillary Clinton and Ted Cruz. Who, who, who does it hate? Who's, who's not given $1 That'd be smart for them to slip a donation in that Trump doesn't even know about and say, oh, look, we gave a donation. Uh, the point is, is that I don't give my ideas. The point is, I mean, this is it. This is the crony capitalist wrecking your ladder up. They're in the hot air balloon. They already got off the ground. They want to cut that rope so you can't get up there and then laugh at you and blame that on the patriot movement. So uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. And the more socialism they call for, the more there's a tiny one half of one tenth of one percent that has all the wealth. Then they sick the giant unwashed masses that can't pay for anything. On the middle class, it's annihilated. And the ladder up, the stairway up to wealth is gone. And you commit us to third world status and elite victory. You, you know Latin America and Africa and Eastern Europe and Asia don't need to be third world. You know their elites write books bragging they keep them poor outside their armored fortresses. That's what makes them God. They can buy your, do your daughter for a dollar in places like Thailand. And now you're going to live it here. You're going to be good slaves. And Larry, you know, you did a lot of classified stuff. I know in the military in Central and South America. We ought to have you on for a full hour sometime just to talk about your experiences and things you did. I know a lot of the stuff with the Clintons is, was illegal, so you can't really get into that. That's some of the, you know, bodies are buried stuff, which I don't know. But sometimes it's just good to get that stuff out there. I know you're keeping it as an ace in the hole. And obviously, uh, you know, if you do die from this cancer, which we hope doesn't happen, I'm sure a lot of that's going to come out. I just wonder if the folks that have it are, are have got the huevos you've got and, and, and will release it. I do not have it. And that's not because I'm even afraid. I'm afraid to lose my life for nothing thinking I have something I don't. Uh, but, 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 but getting back to the Clintons, getting back to where we are in a society, getting back to the world we're in, what their next moves are. You were warning Ted Cruz saying, I've got the dirt on you, buddy. You know, you're never going to be there. Uh, I mean, I, I say just go ahead and start bringing that out now to torpedo him, and, it, it, and, I, and then let's expand into Rubio. Well, I intend to. One of the things that needs to be done right now about Iowa, and they better do it quick. This is a suggestion, but, and I know because I did it against the Clintons. How do you think I got him impeached? Uh, ben Carson needs to file a complaint with the FCC. He also, he also needs to go across the street and file a federal complaint in the federal court. Now, he needs to find three people, or Trump, somebody needs to find three people that were gonna vote for Carson, went into that room when they heard that, flipped their vote. And with those three people, they can file a theft by deception charge, criminal charge against Cruz. Trust me, Cruz is done. Now, I don't have standing but that has never stopped me before of interceding in something that I felt like I needed to intercede in. Then, then you got to know about Rubio. See, you have to know the confidential flow chart, their strategy flow charts, the, uh, what do you, what do you want to call them? The hierarchy, the establishment. Chain of command. They want chain of command. Well, this is a flow chart for how to push, get it folks. You're not going to believe it. Jeb Bush in. You see, Jeb Bush is sitting there. Now, if Trump, if Rubio and Cruz 
beat Trump and drive him out. Then it'll be Rubio and Cruz. Then they have the same stuff on Cruz that I have. And then when they get rid of Cruz, they're going to go after Rubio. Now, they're going to point out that Rubio's queer. I didn't, that ain't me. I'm telling you what they're going to do. They're going to point out that he is about as homosexual a queer as there is a homosexual queer. Now, once again, that's not me, Rubio. That's them. When they eliminate Cruz, Rubio, and they have done away with Trump, guess who's in line then, buddy? Jeb Bush. And you got a brokered election, which insiders admit they're planning. They're brokering the election. You, you, folks, in a primary, I've told you before, Alex has told you, in a primary, it's all about money. He who has the most money stays till the end. And then you've got somebody that's an odd bark like Trump. Here comes Trump. He doesn't need that money. He'll do it on his own. But they plan to remove him. They plan to get rid of him and use Cruz and Rubio to do it. And I will not let that stand. I will not. And trust me, Alex, I don't know how much you know about Ted Cruz, but... Uh, no, I don't ever want to know anything about people uh, individually until it's time to drop the hammer on them, and then I want to know that information <laughs> right the moment it's released where I'm not standing yeah. next to the explosion. <laughs> well, Ted Cruz is not what he's purported to be. I mean, anyway, I'm going to leave it at that for now, but don't worry. Hell's coming to Cruz. Trust me. Hillary, Hillary's safe. I still get this stuff where she's going to be indicted. She's going to be indicted. Alex, think about it. If Hillary was going to be indicted with the email thing, there's enough evidence there. Sure, and we have everything else, Benghazi. The list goes on and on. Well, then what right. about this? What about the FBI then releasing its investigation and saying they she should have? They can't. In fact, the I saw FBI. articles now that they're not releasing the Whitewater uh, draft <laughs> indictments they had on her for that. No. I mean, they're going to, if Toomey really has put 100 FBI agents that are above everybody and we're really doing a good job, he's got to submit to Loretta Lynch. He's got to submit the case to her. And then she's got to make the decision whether to prosecute. And I'm telling you guys, nobody in Washington wants Hillary indicted because it means their end. It's their end. So just know, quit worrying about the FBI. If Toomey, the FBI director, is as squeaky clean as everybody you says You understand. Ha haven't we reached a moment, though, because a lot of evidence is that, that the FBI director, J. Edgar Hoover, didn't, didn't die like they said in his bedroom, uh, yeah. but, but, but they were sick of him blackmailing both sides, and so he kind of had, had a little accident. And I'm not saying I want that to happen to Hillary. I'm not at that level. I don't want to be involved. I'm a guy that just sits here and looks at the info because I want to be here at the end of this for my kids. Uh, I, mean, I could do even bolder stuff than I do. The point is I don't play in the Cloak and Dagger channels. Right, but right. when I've seen stuff like this historically, when, when everybody's lined up, everybody's at loggerheads, there's a stalemate, usually one side or the other is going to jump and people are going to start getting killed. You know, Alex, I'm afraid you're right. I really am. I'm afraid you're right. Now, remember, this is a plague that stays with the Clintons. Whenever the Clintons were involved, when he was governor, when Bill Clinton was president, people die around this couple like you have never seen. And I'm afraid that what you're describing may be on someone's drawing board. Someone's. Hillary right now had better be getting her butt puckered because she's right between, in a way, Obama's in the same shape I am. He's in between Hillary and some, she, something she's wanted since she was four years old. And the only way to get rid of a problem who's already convicted in the court of public opinion and is bringing your party mm -hmm. down where they're losing every state and every governorship is right. to make her a hero where she falls down and has a stroke? That's, that's about it. Remember this. Hillary's going to come out of this email scandal. And you might as well just get ready for the, for the reports. It's going to be, oh, these mean old right-wing conservative Republicans conspiracy. They've thrown all of these things about the emails, and they knew there was She said it there. again last night. She said yeah. the vast right-wing conspiracy has gotten better funded. <clears throat> yeah, and then it's all there. But think about it, folks. She lived through it. And I'll tell you, she's wanting to lose New Hampshire. She, she 
she wanted to lose Iowa, but then it looked like it might be such a negative that she backed out. But Hillary has got to lose New Hampshire for her playbook to actually work. She's got to be, Alex, the underdog. You can never run a Clinton, never run a Clinton until they're the underdog. And then they will rise up out of the ashes. And then she like says, the I'm under attack. Protect me and I'll protect you. And then, and then all you of her it. followers feel like th she needs them and they're part of her life. It's That's all right. a big sucker job. That's right. Look, Bill and Hillary count on we the people to be the first three rows of a wrestling match, Alex. The first three rows of a rash, rash, wrestling match as the Clintons and I used to define it. Those are the people that sit right up on the front, front three rows. You can obviously see the fighters drawing their punches. You can see that they're all tricks. They're not really hitting each other straight in the nose with a brick. You see all of that. You're right there. But then they get up and believe it and walk out. Let's spend a few minutes separately on, when we come back from break, on what you think Trump should do to win and what we can do to help him do that because obviously the you whole bet. system's against him. It's for real. It's not show. It's not a foil. But separately, let's get for just two, three months before we go to break into how you got recruited by the Clintons, what you were doing in the special forces in Latin America, and how that expertise, you know, helped you now see what's happening to America itself. Well, I have been I've been involved in a lot of things in different operations. And I had decided I was through with that. That's how I ended up going to work for Bill at the Arkansas Development Finance Authority. I had seen too much. It was getting too rough. And I noticed in the racket I was in, Alex, there were no gray hairs. And what I mean by that, nobody lived beyond 35. When you got to 35, you'd been in the middle of enough stuff that you knew too much. So now they throw you into missions that you're not going to come out alive That's exactly on. what I saw with my family as well. It's incredible, yeah. Yeah. So then I'd had it, went to Bill, said, I need a cush job for a few months just to cool off. He put me at the Arkansas Development Finance Authority, made me the marketing director. And uh, I'd been there a couple of weeks and I got to noticing, well, it don't do what it says it does. And that's when they showed me the second set of books. Now, at the same time that went down, Adolfo Calero, head of the Contras, called me and said, Larry, Congressman Tommy Robinson wants to come down here. And he's your friend. You've got to bring him. I said, whoa, I'm not coming back. And in that conversation, Adolfo said, what is this Contra drug money stuff? And Alex, I was there. If they were selling drugs, selling cocaine for weapons, I didn't see it. And I was on the ground. But it made me check it out. And lo and behold, what I found, folks, is $100 million a month. Where did I come up with that figure? I came up with that figure. From the books I had at ADFA, $100 million a month was being laundered through the Arkansas Development Finance Authority, through Dan Laster's brokerage firm, and distributed by Don Tyson and Tyson Foods. And so I went to Bill and said, Bill, here's what's going on. He played like he didn't know anything about it. I knew he was lying. He knew I knew he was lying. Remember who I was. And uh, that's when our war started, Alex. I they started roasting me. And you see, I was brought into Bill in the first place by a man named Mr. Witt Stevens. He and his brother, Witt and Jack Stevens, owned Arkansas, Louisiana Gas, and they were the kingmakers of the day. They owned everything. You didn't run for dog catcher in a Humnoke, Arkansas, unless they approved it. And Mr. Witt told me there was a boy that he wanted me to make to be governor, and he was attorney general, and that's when and how I met Bill Clinton. And that's how I met Hillary. And uh, Larry Nichols, yeah. stay there. We'll be right back to finish up the story and get your advice to Donald Trump. I'm Alex Jones. Stay with us. This is GCN. Senator Albert Guillory is going to be joining us. He's one of these many Republicans who was just a Democrat and who switched parties, part of this huge landslide uh, that is taking place. And he's going to be uh, joining us coming up for about 20, 30 minutes in the next hour. Then I will get to the other news and clips. But I mentioned because there is there is so much to obviously cover on that front. But here's another article. We don't just have border agent. We might as well abolish our immigration laws altogether. Yeah, Joe Biggs is on video driving through one of these checkpoints 70 miles inside the U.S. Hadn't even been to Mexico. They want to search the vehicle. Was it Joe Biggs? I forget which reporter. I think it was Joe. 
and, and uh, we, we played it last year. That was Joe. And he goes, why? The border is open anyways. And they go, yeah, you're right. Actually, just go on in. Start laughing. Because, I mean, it's a certain point where the TSA wants to grope my genitals or grab my children and all the naked body scanners. I'm like, I know you let illegals through without any IDs. I see it all the time. I used to see it before it was in the news. I'd be sitting there. They go, how do you know they're illegals? Give me a break, folks, especially if they're illegals from uh, the Middle East or illegals from Mexico. I mean, culturally, you see them going, talking and saying, I have no papers. They just let you through. Now that's in the news. And again, people go, well, why don't you like those poor people? Why am I discriminated against? I don't deserve it. It's not for security. It's to train me to be a slave. Excuse me. And now there's this new Daily Caller article we're posting at Infowars.com. Lawmaker says he's never read anything that's more sensitive than information in Hillary's top secret emails. Republican Chris Stewart. Yeah, can you imagine what she's really doing with all this? And a lot of intel is, and I, and I think she might have put really super secret stuff in there as a form of blackmail, knowing people to get it, and then she could threaten to have that come out in the investigation they leaked to begin with to bring down all of Washington itself, and that what's in the emails is the threat itself, and that's what Nichols hinted at six months ago, and, I, and, and now I'm putting pieces together. I see him nodding. Am I on to something here? <laughs> yeah, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. That's how it works, Alex. You just lay down the play. We used to call them scams. That's the scam. She couldn't hold Washington at bay unless she had had the New York Times release the story about the emails. And the further they deal and further they get along in the emails. They're digging the into her blackmail operation. Now, this is dangerous, so you never gave out the answer. Did I figure it out? Yes, you did. You figured it out exactly. And now you know what I'm talking about, why all of them in Washington are going to Obama and telling him, don't you indict her, don't you indict her, because they know discovery would destroy him. Hillary knows discovery will destroy him. And guess what Hillary's pulled off by doing this? This is one of our old scams. She's got the whole of Washington, D.C. under blackmail. And she never said a word. She never said Anything and now they're going to fight to defend her because they're defending themselves. Right. They got to defend themselves. Look, y'all, it's tough. The racket I was in, it's tough. And it's for hardball. And Alex, people just got to realize this is for the presidency of the United States and soon to be Bill Clinton, the, the uh, Secretary General of the United Nations. What do you this think Trump needs to look people. out for? What does Trump need to look out for? Well, what Trump needs to do is uh, he needs to communicate I, I wish he would communicate with me or some of his people. And I would tell Trump that you need to stay being you. Do not let the media get you over a barrel like, you know, when he was apologizing or when he was thanking everybody in Ohio, Iowa. You know, he still needs to be Trump. Stay Trump. Then, Alex, he needs to come to you and probably three or four other broadcast entities and set up his own network, his own network, and totally bypass the, the right-wing media. And by doing that, anybody that wants to learn about Trump will have to come to him, Alex, and they'll hear the story, the whole story. And if they go through Fox, CNN, MSNBC, what they're going to hear is a story that is totally wrong. Let's hear more With of that strategy back in 70 seconds. Then the state senator joins us. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all crystal clear now. All of Congress, the people on intelligence committees, the other secretaries of states, all of them have pretty much had double sets of emails, just like the head of the EPA had to resign when she got caught with it. And by them going after Hillary on this, now the fact that they've all done it, she can hold them up right there. And then she's been in charge of the State Department and in the White House before that. They know where the bodies are buried, and out of this can start hanging a whole bunch of people. And so now you see Petraeus not being demoted. Now you see him backing off his conviction. Now you see all this. Look at this headline right here. This just came in. Lawmaker says he's never read anything that's more sensitive than information in Hillary's top secret emails. Oh, that's why they can't be released. Condoleezza Rice, NBC News. Colin Powell got classified info on personal emails. Oh, is he going to go down too? Now, is that the extent of the honeypot they've suckered themselves into the bear trap? Larry Nichols, former top Clinton insider, or is there more? Well, there's more, Alex. I messed up. I thought I was going to be here until 1240. I'm supposed to be on another program right now. I understand. Now. Well, go ahead and finish yeah. up. Well, 
the truth is, yeah, there's more. There's more that's going to come. What's going to happen today is she's going to keep feeding out more, and the more she feeds out, Alex, the deeper Washington's done, done. And my job is to make sure she's done, and I will. Trust me. Uh, other advice to Trump, then I know you got to go. Trump needs to be Trump. He needs to set up a network of his own. A network of his own. I don't mean buy one, but I mean use you and, and other networks and do his own lines of communication and stay after Cruz because Cruz is, is bad, bad. And I'll make sure he knows what he needs to know. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Nichols. We'll talk to you again thank soon. You. We're, all, we're all praying for you, buddy. All right. Thanks, Alex. Thank you so much. Thank you for the time. Um, I want to be clear here. I don't know all the particular inside baseballs he's getting into. That guy does have a lot of really amazing and creepy sources, uh, obviously. And, and he's been dead on so far about so much. I, I, I just don't like it, actually, uh, because it, it makes me sick uh, how twisted and screwed up this country's gotten. Clean, pure drinking water. You can't survive without it. But where do you get it? Alexa Pure Pro is a brand new groundbreaking gravity-fed water filtration system that is like no other. The Alexa Pure Pro transforms water from virtually any fresh source into clean, healthy drinking water, pairing the unprecedented superfiltration power of an all-new gravity block core with a hybrid chromatic shell. It removes up to 99.999% of impurities, including bacteria, viruses, fluoride, disinfectants, volatile organic contaminants and hormones filter capacity up to 5,000 gallons stainless steel construction easy assembly low maintenance replacement filters are simple to install and now as part of an exclusive limited time introductory offer you can save $20 off the retail price and get free shipping this is a limited time offer so order your unit today and receive free shipping and $20 off go to infowarsstore.com or call 888-253-3139